The Dwarf 2 is a small yet very powerful telescope capable of taking beautiful photos of objects within the night sky such as galaxies and nebulas. But what else really makes this small telescope so special? Let's discuss that right now in this video. One mistake I actually notice a lot of beginner astrophotographers make is the ideology that in order to get the best astrophotos you need to have the biggest aperture diameter and the best focal length possible, but I'm here to tell you that is not necessarily true. The Dwarf 2 telescope actually has a focal length of 100 millimeters, which is very small, but just enough to capture beautiful photos of galaxies and nebulas that may seem very dim in other telescopes. Another thing I'd like to discuss in this telescope is the field of view of the telescope itself. It is big enough to fit in objects such as the Pinwheel Galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy, and the Orion Nebula, but it may be a little bit too small to actually get in the good details of objects such as the Ring Nebula and the Helix Nebula or other smaller deep space objects that you might want to be able to photograph in your hobby. Another one of my favorite features of this telescope are actually the live stacking function which allows you to see your photo being taken in real time, seeing the details of the galaxies and the nebulas showing up on the screen of your iPhone, your tablet, your Android, whatever you want to use, and that is shown here. Okay, so you've seen the astrophotography functions, you've seen the capability of this device. Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, what is the actual price of this device? Well, the Dwarf Lab is actually selling this device at a price of 459 US dollars. That is actually very cheap. It comes with the tote bag, the tripod, the battery, and a 64 gigabyte SD card. Another thing I actually love about the Dwarf Lab company are the tutorials that they have online explaining how to use the device and how to troubleshoot it, as well as the different features that are still in development for the telescope. And they have great customer service on email and on Messenger if you guys have the app. I hope this video was able to show you guys a little bit more of the capabilities of this device and the reasonable price point that it's at. It's, it's great for many different things, for videography, photography, and astrophotography, and it's portable. And it's still getting better. It, the software is still under development to add more features to it. I really hope you guys are able to try this device out. The link to the website is in the description of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to have another one coming out soon. It's going to be a serial process tutorial uh, for the Pinwheel Galaxy Messier 101. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for further videos.